G'day all and welcome to Dog Shadow Gaming, the channel where we live to game and gain to live. As always, I'm Belf and today we've got some exciting news about Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. We have an augment update which has given some new goodies to play with and to use on the game. And we also have a release of a DLC coming out later this year, uh, so summer, American summer I'm assuming, um, 2019 to talk about. Alright, all that and more right after this. Alright guys, so let's first up, let's talk about the new augment patch that's come in. Um, I'm just looking at the patch uh, notes here directly on the website. I will leave the link in the description below if you want to check them out yourself. Um, we're currently at 1.25 in the augment. Uh, it happened uh, today, uh, sorry yesterday, 17th of May. Uh, and they just changed a couple of unable to load saves so players can no longer cheat the initiative system translate okay so nothing too much but this was the actual major augment update which was 1.24 so they just done a little bit of a, a beta fix on that one or a bit of a fix um, so a couple of bits and pieces for the UI destroy destroyers uh, doesn't show in mission briefing free upgrades cool we found it took a while but it should be gone for good no more free upgrading just a couple of different UI fixes skills unlock that don't exist doesn't exist extra movement settings no function yeah so just a couple of bits and pieces here's the actual the meat and potatoes of the augment um, that has gone live so you've got Iron Man mode one save file only auto saves are, uh, only happen after deployment eventual and fundamental actions within battle like the Iron Man modes no manual saving cool okay so we've got a permadeath for there I won't go through every one it'll just simply take too long if a tech priest dies they're gone forever all their upgrades are lost including your investments so it's basically just making it a lot harder. It's giving you a lot more, um, well, it's just making it harder. Yeah, skip tutorial mission so we can skip that now rather than having to redo it. Um, upgraded the presets, uh, casual, normal, hard, and very hard. Customized difficulty level. I won't go through them all, guys, but basically you can go through each part of your experience and customize it to make it harder and harder or less harder up to you. Achievements are turned off with certain levels, so the lower levels, they're going to be turned off so you can't just make achievements by doing super easy. Events option, clarity improved, so there's more information on possible outcomes of an option, which is cool. Some polishing here, intro now has a 2D cutscene, fonts cleaned up, escape battle button added, discipline tree, uh, UI clarity improved, escape menu UI clarity improved, setting menu UI clarity improved, um, and then some bits and pieces missing. All, de all endings are now, uh, sorry, now with voiceover. Cool. Uh, they have done a Turkish uh, localization added, which is basically converting the game into Turkish, which is great. Uh, if you're a Turkish person, of course. Uh, balancing weapons, heavy grav cannon had some balancing, the torsion cannon, the phosphor blaster, and the heavy phosphor blaster have all had some balancing tweaks. Um, increases some damage to T1 increase, T2, T3. And that's about it, guys. That is the augment or the latest big patch there. Um, so let's now move on to the DLC that has just sort of dropped the other day. Now, here's the new DLC, and this is Mechanicus Heretic. Now, let's just go through the content, have a little bit of this. Um, it is releasing, plan releases date, summer uh, 2019. Uh, it's not available to buy yet, but uh, it will be coming soon, I would assume. So about the content, Heretic is an expansion to the critically acclaimed tactical turn-based Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus. Opening a whole new plot line, Heretic exposes the dark underbelly of the Adeptus Mechanicus faction like never before. Brand new narrative, events have been handcrafted once again by Ben Counter, uh, allowing players to uncover what has brought civil unrest to Castus Metallican during its campaign at Silver Tenebris. Take on frighteningly familiar foes, a cohort of heretic tech priests that have changed their beliefs and forsaken the name of the Omnissiah. Can you, Magos Dominus Festinius, manage both an assault on the Necrons while corrupt while being corrupted from within. Uh, so features a new discipline to utilize, unlock the Xenorite, a discipline that is specialized in using Xenotech, a largely forbidden practice for those that follow the Omnissiah, plus all new augments for you to customize the appearance of your tech priest. Five new missions, five new missions, as I say, experience five new missions based on the Arc Mechanicus, each with a new delivery system for narrative. The choice you make will impact the battles for that mission. Oh, that sounds juicy. 
New weapons to discover. Xeno-altered weapons open up devastating possibilities coupled with support tech that opens up new playstyles. Very nice. Two new troops to command. Sakarian infiltrators and rust stalkers are now available to unlock. Pass through Necron and Heretic limbs alike with the transonic blade of the rust ruined rust stalkers, I should say. Or take the stealthy route with the infiltrator and spring an unexpected ambush. Cool. Two new unit types sounds really cool. New but familiar enemies to face. Face your follow fellow fellow brother tech priest in an internal conflict over his necron xenotech while also holding back the awakening of the necrons new mission environment experience combat inside an arc mechanicus for the first time in warhammer 40k history so that's kind of it at the moment guys we've got uh, plenty of stuff going on um in the warhammer universe that so we're getting updates there's i will be putting out an update for the gladius uh game as well there's been two updates we've had one with the uh the tyranids and now chaos as well um so i'll be doing a state of the game for gladius as well so keep an eye out for that one uh that's really it for me guys thank you so much for watching as always i really appreciate you taking the time um if you're a big warhammer fanboy like myself then i'm hoping you're enjoying the channel as much as i do if you are guys then smash that like button the thumbs up there on the top or the bottom or wherever it may be it really helps out the channel uh if you're new around here consider subscribing and if uh you want to get all the updates if you're watching on youtube then make sure you click that bell otherwise you won't get told when all the new episodes and bits and pieces come out uh, if you want to support the channel you can do so by hitting up the links below for patreon and paypal uh, as little as a dollar a month or a year can help me out greatly so if you value the content go ahead if you've got the money and you can afford it go for it um, outside of that i'd love to hear from you guys what do you think about the updates are you enjoying mechanicus did you sort of start and then want to go back onto it now with a couple of updates and bits and pieces um, you know, what are your thoughts? How, how are you liking it? Let me know in the comments below. Outside of that, thank you as always for taking the time to watch my stuff and uh, enjoy your gaming, guys. See you later. Bye. Yeah.